talking about sports, movie reports, and world news. We'll also talk celebrities, a weather report, your shout out, and Fulton News. Hi, I'm David Pacheco reporting from MJJ Student News. You might have heard about Cowboys linebacker Jerry Brown dying in a car crash with Josh Brent behind the wheel. The car flipped twice and caught on fire. A hard game last Sunday, but they beat the Bengals 20-19. His friend went to jail for manslaughter. People have been blaming what happens on the field to the effect of what happens off the field. Some examples are depression, gun violence, and drinking. This is David Pacheco reporting from MJJ Student News. See you later. This is Kay Lard from MJJ Student News. Breaking news! An eight-year-old girl was bitten by SeaWorld's favorite mammals. Yes, a dolphin seems to be the latest attacker of Jillian Thomas's hands. While vacationing with her parents in Orlando, Florida, Jillian got the opportunity to feed the dolphins. However, after already feeding the dolphin, Jillian grabbed the fish tank plate up in the air and the dolphin took a bite or three of her hand thinking there was fish on the plate. Jillian's parents are outraged with SeaWorld and want them to admit fault. But is this really the fault of SeaWorld or is it Jillian's? More to come as we continue to follow this story and get more details. This is Kay Large reporting live from MHJ Student News. And now let's check in with the sports. Thank you, Kayla. This is MJJ Sports Report, reporting live from Mr. J's class in the fifth grade. But before we get started, folks, here, here's Jason, and now a word from our sponsor. Take away, Jason. Hey, guys. You know how those sticky kids are smelling up the room and everything. So, all I have is three words for you. Glade Air Freshener. Jordan Matthew Stanford has the only rookie QBs in NFL history to reach 350 yards and four touchdowns in a single game. Take it away, Boyd. Hi, I'm Ryan Boyd, reporting live from MJJ Student, Student News Sports Report. Things are heating up in the NFL with the Bears playing the Packers towards the end of the season. We'll have more on these two teams next time. Take it away, Tyler. My name is Tyler Juicy. You can call me Juicy. Either one is all right for me. Have you ever heard of the Heisman Trophy? It is usually given to seniors or juniors, but this year, a freshman got this trophy and made history. His name is Johnny Menzel, also known as Johnny Football. I think of him as a mighty RG3 because he does one to pressure. He's an amazing thrower and can run and juke really quickly. He has so many records, I can't remember how much he has. Now, here's some footage of his amazing touchdown. Well, that's it for the footage. Now here's Aiden with the and a chill. I'm also called as AL2. 
After every season and before hockey, the NHL has to agree with a deal for the season. After the first season of this year, the NHL didn't work out a deal, so it's called a lockout. And a lockout is when the NHL can't work out a deal for the season. And so for that, the season is off till they worked out a deal for the, for the season. And after a lockout is over, they start off the same day and then they get the same amount to of time to practice till the next season. Also, it's been over seven years since the last lockout. This is MJJ Sports News Sports Report. Woo! Yay! Yeah, please! Yes! Thanks for the sports, guys. Now, Brooke Begay with a movie report. MJJ Student News Movie Reporter. Breaking Down Part 2 is rated PG-13 for kids 12 and older. Bella wakes up as a vampire. Ever shows her a Renesmee to her. She, she's very proud that she has a daughter. Renesmee is half, half immortal and half human. She is going really fast and they don't know why. Bella takes her out to catch snowflakes. So she sees um, Edward's cousin on the mountain and Edward's cousin sees um, Renesmee. She thinks she's a whole immortal. And she runs off to go to the Volturi and tell them that they had a child and they thought she was a vampire. And I had to report a crime. The colonists, they've done something terrible. The Volturi thinks Renesmee is an immortal child. She was born, not bitten. She grows every single day. Oh my. Creating an immortal child has long been outlawed. And it's met with the severest form of punishment. <laughs> And so they came over to fight. Fight. I've never been afraid of vampires. Today's shout out goes out to Miss Norton's class in sixth grade at Fulton Elementary School here in Chandler, Arizona. the first president of the United States of America. I'm someone you should get to know. I was born here in Westmoreland County, Virginia in 1732. I died here in Mount Vernon, Virginia in 1799. So I lived to be 67 years old. Even though I look kind of grumpy in my portraits, actually, I was a pretty friendly sort of person. On certain days, I invited anyone who was passing by my house to stop in and chat. As long as they dressed nicely. Stop by again. So, uh, do you think you'll let us in? <laughs> Why not? We're wearing our best suits. I also loved parties and barbecues. I liked to dance and tell jokes. George, everyone wants to know how long the broad twist will be. Tell them they'll be about five or six inches long. <laughs> <laughs>